Hi, in the last video we introduced pulleys. In this video we'll see some of the special things that happen when the system has more than one pulley. So in this picture here our system has three pulleys. A larger mass MB and a lighter mass MA. And so what will happen in our system is that MB being the bigger mass it's going to go downward. And what we need to pay a special attention to is how much more rope now is on the left side. And the answer is there is this much more rope. We need that information as we turn to the question, how much does the MA go up? There's only so much rope, and the total amount of rope that the left side gained, which shown in blue, has to be the amount of rope lost on the right side. And I'll do that right here. The amount lost on this side is from here to here, and equivalently on the other side of the rope from here to here. The crux is that the amount of rope gained on the left side, shown in blue, must be exactly equal the amount of rope gained on the right side, uh, the amount of rope gained on the left side in blue must be exactly equal to the amount of rope lost on the right side shown in magenta. And that means that MA, mass A, is moving one half the distance up of mass B. If it's moving one half the distance up, it's accelerating at one half the rate. The acceleration of the A block is one half that of the B block because when, when the A block moves, both magenta ropes on both sides have to equal the single amount of rope on the B side. And we can look at another situation. In this situation, we now have five pulleys, and our heaviest mass is going to be uh, MC, followed by MB, and our lightest mass will be MA. So what's going to happen? MC being the biggest mass, it's going down the most. MB being uh, the second biggest mass, it will go down some, but not as much. And the amount of rope gained on the far left and the far right side I'm going to show in aqua. That's the amount of rope that the two sides have gained and they must have gotten it from the middle so it has to give up exactly that length of rope And the amount lost in the middle, I'll show you here, is on the left side, and then on the right side of the middle, it's this amount here. And what has to be true is the two amounts of rope lost in the middle, shown in magenta, 
must equal the sum of the amount of rope gained on the two sides shown in aqua. So, in terms of acceleration, the acceleration, the two magentas, so two acceleration A's, that's how much uh, went up on the A's, has to be in magnitude equal B plus AC. In other words, AA is the average of the other two accelerations. And with these properties, we'll begin to see some of the very special things you can do with pulleys, uh, which we'll see in, in lab.